A new year brings a lot of new people to the gym. And it sounds like they might not just be working out, apparently. According to uh, relationship expert Jessica Leone, she worry, warns, worries, uh, she worries for you on your behalf. She warns that the gym, especially at this time of year, can also be a hotbed for affairs. She says this time of year particularly is a bad time for uh, the beginnings of affairs and even uh, even possibly more dangerous or maybe more common micro cheating. We, we know what micro cheating is, right? I mean, of course, it's it's blurring the line. It's not going all fully all the way, but like the intention, the mindset of cheating may be there, even if it doesn't culminate in. Uh, well, you know, uh, so she warns. That this could be a sign. You got to have your feelers up. You got to have your antenna aware that if your partner is going to the gym, or maybe yourself, maybe you're going to the gym and you want to stay faithful, this is a bad time of year for getting into some, uh, you know, some trouble with your relationship. Yeah, I would say if you go to the gym and you have friends at the gym, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But if you're like doing more than just being friends at the gym, your conversations are more than that, then obviously. That is in the wrong. Yeah. We don't really have to go in depth and tell you what's wrong and what's right. Yeah. I mean, obviously. you know. You know. But if you're the on the other half of it, if your wife or husband is talking about somebody at the gym a lot, and they're doing a lot, th a lot of things outside of the gym, then that's when you begin to get a little bit worried. Uh, they, she says that part of the problem is that when you go to the gym and you're working out, that raises your testosterone levels, which that's going to make you more likely like you're just feeling chemically more don't up. give me the comic chemical yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's the testosterone's fault. sorry honey the testosterone was just i was working out and so i mean it's my body i can't yeah. help my body it's I don't not an excuse it. it's something to be aware of especially personally for your own self what you need to check if you're getting back into the gym uh you know obviously i i would say that if you if you're a routine gym goer already then this is something that you don't need to worry about as much because you already have your routine you know how you feel you like it's when it's a new thing and maybe because you're going to the gym you're also feeling better about yourself although for a lot of people maybe it makes it feel worse uh th this is i think for the new gym goers because it's a new group of people you could come in contact with again feelings you may be not familiar with because the testosterone levels are higher than you're used to and uh, all of a sudden whether it actually culminates in anything or not, your mindset is different, and that can be trouble. Let's talk about peacocking. One of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite terms that I've used uh, uh, many a times. But peacocking in the gym yeah. is what they say. Micro cheating. If you're peacocking, you mm, might be wondering what get... is peacocking. Yeah, I think I have an idea. That's when you're running a little faster than you usually would, lifting uh -huh. a little heavier weights in an effort to prove that there's you're strong. And a suitable candidate for the lady across the room from you. Yeah. If you're peacocking at the gym, what are you doing, man? You're hot dogging. I, I guarantee you, too, uh, the guys, you always have to keep this in mind. Remember this. No matter how impressive you think what you're doing is, is uh, I don't think the ladies are looking at you. Unless you're already the type of guy that ladies look at anyways. And you probably know that. And it doesn't matter how much. This is the other thing that's crazy. And I've talked to my girlfriend about this. She's like, no matter how much you're lifting... The, the lifting between men and women is so different. Yeah. She has no idea what is heavy. Like, she doesn't even know. So if you think that you're doing something that's really impressive, uh -huh. my girlfriend would look at you and be like, is that like a lot of weight? Is that a little <laughs> right. bit of weight? Like, yeah. that's a lot of weight for me. That's more than I can mm -hmm. lift. But is that a strong guy? Is that a weak guy? They don't know. They don't know. And they're, and probably, so, and they're not paying attention They don't either. care either. No. Like, it doesn't matter to them. So when you're in there peacocking, quit the peacocking. 2024, not the year to peak out. You think, uh, what's a better strategy? If you are trying to, maybe you're single and you think the gym is your place, uh, as a guy, do you then struggle more than you actually think you make should it to like make it look like you're really lifting a or lot? Or does that make you look weak? I don't know. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the, the Like trying to take. run fast. Like nobody just looks cool running really fast on, on a, a treadmill. treadmill. Yeah, no. Like no one's been like, dang, look at that dude. He's running so fast. <laughs> he I want to take him home with me. All the way. I need to talk to him. That dude is running as fast as he can. <laughs> Wasn't that a great riot clip? While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.